AP and I'm on a science video. AP and I'm on a science video. Hello students, this is Mr. Balsier. We had a few sticky spots on the chapter 12 quiz, so I was hoping that I could go over a uh, chapter 12 quiz uh, with you. The two sticky spots were the math question. Um, we compared Tanzania and their fuel consumption, which is very low. I'm sorry, we compared Tanzania's energy use, which was very low compared to the U.S., and uh, the book had an interesting conversion that, that related it to the amount of gallons of gasoline they use per year and then per month. Um, let's set up our equalities so that we can show some factor labeling. Uh, given Tanzania had a energy consumption of 2.85 gigajoules um, per person per year whereas the United States had 355 gigajoules per person per year. And it wanted you to uh, compare these two. Uh, also given was that one gigajoule required eight gallons of uh, gasoline and uh, that was the, the converter that I wanted you to use. So it asks us first how much gasoline uh, does a person from each country use per year. So um, that's this one is how many gigajoules per year a person, and this tells us how many gigajoules uh, require how many ga gallons of gasoline. So the first one, um, if we wanted to set it up for Tanzania, to set up the factor labeling, we know that it takes 2.85 gigajoules of energy on average per person per year. Now to set up the factor labeling, we know that for one gigajoule, it requires eight gallons of gas. Um, and so this factor labeling sets up pretty nicely recognizing we have gigajoules up top canceling out with gigajoules in the bottom and we'd be left with our uh, gallons of gasoline so uh, what this shows us is we take 2.85 and multiply by 8 and divide by 1 so if I wanted to do that longhand I could take um, 2.85 and I'm going to multiply that by 8 gallons um, so 8 times 5 is 40 so I'm going to put the placeholder 0 down there, 4 up here, 8 times 6 is 64, so 64 plus that remaining 4 is uh, 68, so I'm going to carry the 6 over here, 8 times 2 is 16, plus the remainder 6 puts us at 22, uh, 2,280, notice I have two uh, decimal numbers, so I need to move the decimal over twice, so the answer is 22.8 zero gallons of gas per person per year for Tanzania. Now to convert that to months, if we know that it's 22.8 gallons per year for of, uh, of gasoline per person in Tanzania, we know that there are 12 months in a year. So if we wanted to go 22.8 gallons of gas in one year, and we want to convert this, we would um, want to convert it to months. So one year would have to be on the top, 12 months would have to be on the bottom. This would cancel out years and we'd end up with gas per month left over. So that shows us 22.8 divided by 12. Um, and I would have accepted uh, less than two gallons as kind of an estimation. I, ask, I asked you um, to uh, round or estimate, and so that would have been okay. If you want to do this uh, accurately, you could do this in long division. Um, so we could go 12, um, 22.8 divided by 12. We know that, uh, well, 2 times 12 would be 24, which is too big. So 1 times 12 is 12. We're left with 10.8 uh, 
Um, and then if I go uh, 9 times 12, I end up with 9 uh, times 2 is 18. Um, carry the 1. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 1 is 10.8. So the uh, ending value is 1.9. Uh, and you need to tell me what the units were, gallons of gas per month for a person in Tanzania. Same strategy for the people in the U.S. Uh, people in the U.S., it said, on average, used uh, 355 gigajoules of energy. And we have the same conversion. One gigajoule of energy took eight gallons of gas. And this is 355 gigajoules of energy per person per year. So first, let's figure out how much gas it takes uh, for a person. So uh, we could set up our factor labeling, which I asked you to do on the quiz. Uh, 355 gigajoules per person per year. We want gigajoules to cancel out, so we're going to say one gigajoule is equivalent to eight gallons of gas. Uh, so we need to figure out 355 times 8. 355 times 8 looks like this. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 4 remainder is 44. 8 times 3 is 24, plus the 4 remainder is 2,840 gallons of gas per person per year in the U.S. That would be our answer. So now if we wanted to figure out how many gallons of gas per month, um, a solution for that would be, so we had 2,840 um, gallons of gas per person per year in the U.S. So uh, we say, well, that's 2,840 gallons per one year. We want to convert to months. One year has to go on top so that the units cancel out. Months on the bottom, it takes 12 months. So we need to take 2,840 divided by 12. Um, I would have accepted um, an answer of uh, more than 200 gallons. Um, but if you want to do it in longhand, it would look like this. 12 goes into 2,840 how many times? Well, I know that 12 goes into uh, 28 two times. 2 times 12 is 24, we get 440. So, um, focusing on the 44, ignore that zero for now. 12 goes into 44 three times. 3 times 12 is 36. Subtract those, I'm left with 8. Uh, 44 minus 36 is 8, carry down the 0, 80. Um, 12 goes into 86 times. And with some remainder, 6 times 12 is 72, and the remainder is 80 again. I noticed that pattern, and it actually ends up looking like this. Um, so you could have said uh, per month, 237 gallons of gas per person per month in the U.S. All right, thanks for tuning in. Worry about ratios next time. See ya.